Muslim English Language Institute. Vocabulary, lexical resources. Listen to the translation of the words. Repeat them and listen to the examples. Number one, ancestor. Neocon Jad. Noun. An ancestor is a family member from the past. Example: My ancestors came from Germany. Number two, angle, zavia, noun. An angle is the direction from which you look at something. Example: The giraffe turned its head to see from another angle. Number three, boot, boot. Noun: A boot is a heavy shoe that goes over your ankle. Example: He wore boots so that his feet wouldn't get wet. Number four: Border. Hashia ya mars. Noun: A border is the edge of an area. Example: The postcard had a pretty green border of pine needles. Number five, congratulate. Tabri guftan. Verb. To congratulate someone is to tell them that you are happy for them. Example. Bill and Angela congratulated each other on a job well done. Number six, frame. Ab ya charchub. Noun. A frame is a border for a picture or mirror. Example: I have to get a frame for my friend's picture. Number seven, heaven. Behesht. Noun: Heaven is the place that some people believe people go when they die. Example: When I die, I hope that I go to heaven. Number eight, incredible. Bavar nakardani. Adjective. If someone or something is incredible, it is hard to believe they are true. Example: I have an incredible story to tell you about my vacation. Number nine, legend, afsana, noun. A legend is a story from the past. Example: There is a well-known legend about a king and his queen. Number ten, praise. Setayish kardan ya tarif kardan. Verb. To praise is to show that you like someone or something. Example. The coach praises both athletes after a good practice. Number eleven, proceed. Edamadodan peshraftan. Verb. To proceed is to go in a certain direction. Example: My son and I proceeded to the beach so we could go fishing. Number twelve, pure, callous. Adjective: If something is pure, it is very clear and beautiful. Example: The rose was pure; it had no dirt or imperfections. Number thirteen, relative, خشوانت. Noun. A relative is a family member. Example: My relatives came by to see the new baby. Number fourteen, senior. Arshad ya mafu. Adjective: If one is senior, they are the oldest or have been there the longest. Example: Because he got his job first, Bob is the senior chef. Number fifteen. Silent, besada, adjective. If someone or something is silent, they make no sound. Example: Since no one was home, the house was silent. Number sixteen: Sink, pain raftan ya qar shodan. Verb: To sink into something is to slowly fall into it. Example. The boat had a hole in it, and it sank into the ocean. Number seventeen, superior, better, better, adjective. 
if someone or something is superior, they are better than another. Example: I think cooking outdoors is superior to cooking indoors. Number eighteen: Surround. Ehate shodan ya muhasere kardan. Verb: To surround something is to close in on it from all sides. Example: We surrounded the suspect on all four sides. Number nineteen: Thick. Zahim, adjective. If something is thick, it is white and solid. Example: The fog was so thick that I couldn't see through it. Number twenty: Wrap, pushandan ya pichandan. Verb: To wrap is to cover something on all sides. Example: I wrapped his gift and put a bow on it.